So we're actually cooking everything from scratch to deliver to all of our partner organizations in the community so that they can have Thanksgiving meals. All of our efforts for Turkey Palooza are completely funded by monetary and food donations from community members, departments on campus, just organizations, people. Uh, you post a link on Facebook and they say, hey, I'm going to donate. That's where everything comes from. So without those contributions, we really wouldn't be able to do what we do. It's our biggest um, event at Campus Kitchen. It's a week long. It starts Sunday and goes all the way through Friday, um, the week before Thanksgiving, and it takes a lot of effort. Um, our cooking shifts are doubled um, in the length, and it just really, it's really cool to help deliver Thanksgiving meals to all of our partner organizations. So all of us within Campus Kitchen, at least when I was a student, I'm sure this is a conversation that went on before I was at Wake Forest and continues to go on now. Uh, we always wondered, is, is Campus Kitchen just a band-aid? Is it just something that we do to make ourselves feel good and really doesn't make much of an impact? But now that I'm on the other side of Campus Kitchen, working as a community partner, I get to see how the food brought in by organizations like Campus Kitchen can really take a burden off our shoulders and can help us do our job better and free us up to do things that we normally wouldn't get the opportunity to do. So we are beyond grateful for organizations like Campus Kitchen that, that make our jobs a little easier and help us be a little more effective. I think it's a really cool way to help contribute to the community, do something for the good, because at this time of year everyone's focused on themselves, they focus on their exams, and I think that it's really cool to take a step back, to not focus on everything about you for a second and focus on something that's going to make a real impact.